Well, welcome to Unruly Guides. This is video three of how to create a linkable table of contents for your Kindle ebook. Now, in our previous videos, we created the table of contents, made the anchor links, and the page breaks. So, now what we want to do is we want to view your HTML file that you created, in, and you actually just double click it and it will open up in your browser. So, you can see here that you have your table of contents listed here, and to test it, what you can do, and I'm going to shorten this page a little bit, you can see if I click on each of the chapters, it should drop down to where it's supposed to go. So if I click Acknowledgement, and it drops the Acknowledgements. And if I click to Chapter 3, Chapter 2, so the links are working, and that's great. And if we even shorten it even smaller, we can go Chapter 1, and sure enough, it does work. So now what we want to do is I'm going to show you the source code really quick. This is what we created in our source code. And you can see here are the anchor tags with the hash marks that the hash mark anchors are what tell you where to go. Chapter 1 hash mark tells me to go to the ID, Chapter 1, and so on. So now what we want to do is we want to upload this to the Kindle Digital Publishing Program. So you go to your program and you have to log in and finish all the work here. And what we're going to do is I have a title set up, but you can actually set one here, add new title. I'm going to go to Actions and I'm going to edit this book title. And when it opens up, it will have a lot of information that you need to fill in. And if it's part of a series, the edition number, the description. But we're going to skip all the way to the bottom. Now in Part 4, you can upload your book cover. Now your book cover should be at least 600 by 800 pixels. And that will fill the screen very nicely. And you would just browse for the image here. But what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that this uploads successfully. So we're going to browse for the book and you find the book and I had named it Kindle Test HTML so I select it and click OK. Now you need to upload it. Now depending on the size of your book it may take a while for it to upload. Also if you have graphics that are associated with your book within it then that requires you to upload a zip file and that's a completely different video that you can find on Unruly Guides. But for now, we're working with the linkable table of contents. So you can see that it did upload successfully. And we're going to preview the book. And what we want to do is we make sure that we have our bolds, our italics, and our underlines are coming in just fine. And we want to make sure that the chapter breaks are there. So you're going to click the next page. You can see that there is a space after the end of the last chapter. So the next chapter is on its own chapter and so on. Now we're going to go to menu and see make sure the table of contents is listed and it is listed. Now you can't check its linkability here in the preview that's why I showed you to open the HTML file in your browser to just check it that way. But what you want to do now is you can go also save and continue but like I said if you have images that go along with the book you're going to have to actually now make sure the ink images are in the same folder and you're going to have to zip it together. So that's how you make a linkable table of contents. And if you have any more questions or need more formatting help, please visit unrulyguides.com. Thanks for listening and have a great day.